the i already um, displayed here and uh, let me check the uh, internet speed and internet connection uh, so here we can see a lot of war souvenirs uh, some of them i found in europe some of them i found in united states and uh, uh, during my last euro trip um, i found items in italy in germany in uh, belgium in france in netherlands and um, some items uh, i already shown you and some items i just unpacked and uh, uh, now i place it um, on the display so uh, you can see all this stuff and now and um, tomorrow i have to ship some items from here so that's why i um, realized i have to show it to you so here we can see a pile of SA daggers and some NSKK daggers also here. Uh, near this wall we can see SS daggers and um, SS pennant and you can see the number, it's a really impressive thing. A few more pennants, we can see two more pennants we can see here. This one is army one and this one is uh, general Luftwaffe. And um, here's just a pennant with uh, special cover and uh, I also filmed the video with it. Um, this video is edited now and uh, here we can see original mount for this pennant and uh, that's really cool and um, also rare thing. Mm, here we can see a couple of soldiers. Uh, today I published video with uh, these soldiers and uh, with war souvenirs also from uh, this table and um, if you didn't see you have to see it um, because I used to explain about uh, these soldiers because I have picture original period picture of uh, Soviet pilot who uh, worn uh, original DRK Red Cross German Red Cross uh, officers dagger and uh, I just uh, create this soldier in uh, miniature so i proud i did it and um, i already received it and you can see the result of my work and um, i think that's really nice and um, i used to start whole series with it you can see war story number one so it's like first series uh, of this um of this project uh first series of um soldiers so it will be much more uh, motifs with uh, them because I collect uh, pictures like that with uh, trophies. So um, I already ordered few more um, motifs in this series. It will be cool. Uh, here also we can see some Russian stuff. It's Russian Empire, Russian Russian Imperial stuff. Uh, this is a Kinjal uh, model uh, 1907 and uh, two officers Shashka. Shashkas. And um, here, very interesting display with um, really, really rare items. Uh, this one is NPA uh, dagger in stone mint condition. And um, this one is amazing because it's really hard to find um, item in uh, that condition now in our days. And uh, this one is really in stone mint with uh, school maker mar with school marks O37, uh, very early number and uh, this one is really cool. Um, here we can see um, DLV, DLV dagger, uh, 55 centimeters. It's like um, one of the longest <laughs> German dagger. And um, this one is really rare because um, it uh, established in 1934. And in 1935, um, Luftwaffe first model has been established and um, they just cut uh, these DLV daggers and uh, that's why it's so rare when it's full length uh, so it's really cool and um, here we can see two um, RAD daggers and uh, this one is full stack this one is a regular one and this one is uh, early Karl Eichhorn so it's also very interesting thing and uh, I will publish pictures in my Instagram account uh, instagram.com uh, slash Alex War Story and um, this one is really cool and uh, in really good condition. I also just 
unpacked it and um, I filmed this video and uh, next week it will be and um, it will be better quality pictures of uh, this stuff because uh, here in live stream I guess it's not really best um, quality of the picture uh, two SS daggers we can see here this one is early one and this one is trans transitional one and the early one it was uh, ground Rome, you can see uh, Booker stamp, and um, uh, here we can see um, Rome dedication, but it has been removed uh, in 1934. So this one is original Rome dagger, but, but ground Rome. Uh, this one is uh, transitional Helbig, and um, which is really cool with uh, Helbig tra trademark and with RZM stamp and. Um, also, it's in near mint condition. I will publish picture of it. Um, this one is also really cool. And uh, here, few uh, miniatures, miniatures uh, of Luftwaffe sword, uh, Kriegsmarine dagger, and um, Luftwaffe second model dagger, uh, model 1937. And uh, also, we can compare this one, uh, miniature of the sword and real sword uh, by the way um, there is a one rare thing on this sword we can see hanger uh, most swords uh, selling without this hanger so this one is uh, interesting piece wonderful thank you um, here we can see also one more Luftwaffe thing uh, this is Luftwaffe, uh, Luftwaffe boot knife Luftwaffe boot knife model 19 42 and um, also we can see here uh, interesting stamp it's like W here uh, on the Ricasa and um, here is here is original hanger um, which GI probably uh, made and uh, it's pretty interesting construction of it uh, you can see it's unusual unusual worn so uh, it has been uh, took um, as a war trophy and uh, probably worn by GI or uh, Marine Corps soldier and this one is also interesting hanger it's like handmade or stuff like that Ki kind of uh, here few more um, boot knives we can see here this one is not boot knife it's uh, just a gravity knife paratrooper thing I placed it here because of um, we can see here few paratroopers uh, badges uh, and um, two Luftwaffe badges and this one is uh, uh, Luftwaffe Army paratrooper and uh, this one is really interesting with uh, dedication with a sign uh, on the back side so it's very interesting so three um, uh, four more uh, boot knives is um, 19 uh, 42 model this three and uh, Puma model uh, this one and this one is a really early early Puma with wooden grip uh, so it's really also interesting uh, for me because uh, boot knives it's like stuff uh, that you can find in battlefield and uh, uh, in that time I uh, dug up I trenched in uh, Leningrad area uh, that's a, it was really valuable find, um, you know what I mean, if you find the trench knife or boot knife. Uh, and here we can see really in awesome condition items. I found it in, uh, in Allentown, Allentown show. And uh, this one is near mint condition and it's quite rare. To find and to find it in that condition, and um, honestly, in Europe you can't find uh, a lot of uh, boot knives in this condition in mint and near or near mint condition. Most of them has been uh, sent to the United States, uh, or probably collectors uh, just kept uh, just keep it, and um, only in the United States you can find uh, some items more than one uh, in um, mint and near mint condition. For example. Um, let me open it. 
bro. It's pretty difficult to do it in one hand. Yeah. Uh, this one. This one is also in mint condition, no stamps. So classic one for 1942. Uh, so in the cupboard, also in original paint. But I don't want to mix uh, these parts. Let me. Oh, okay. I will see this video uh, from the beginning and uh, I will put it in correct knife. Um, some more items we can see here, for example, these two um, hunting daggers, uh, hunting dagger and miniature of hunting daggers. Um, we already saw uh, on my video from Europe and I just uh, received it here in United States. And this one um, I didn't show you. Ah, no, I shown you it uh, uh, last stream, last stream and um, I just check it. This one is really nice uh, piece. This is deluxe um, forestry dagger. But these pages I didn't show you. Um, I just took pictures with, with them and uh, published it on Instagram. But uh, these pages in mint condition, in stone mint condition, uh, cased paratrooper uh, page. And this one is uh, Tom Pak. And it's almost impossible to find it. The same one in same condition. You can see that burnishing on... Um, on the gilding and that's really cool so it's almost impossible to find <laughs> second one in that condition uh, this one is um, Asman, Asman also and this one is aluminum one uh, which is also really uh, rare and uh, this one is um, absorber and uh, this absorber is also with burnishing and uh, in amazing condition for uh, U-boat uh, beige is also with burnishing, so i excited to um, to find it. And um, this really great find, and um, I will show it to you closer, but I just want to show it in one display. Um, this one is uh, second model Iron Cross, and this second model Iron Cross uh, cased with um ldo l11 uh, box original box and this iron cross is exactly l11 stamped so this is really cool also uh this pilot in stone mint condition and um this paratrooper bridge uh made by juncker is also in good condition so I really proud myself. I found all these uh, items and I bought it from a dealer who just bought the collection, whole collection of uh, mint and uh, near mint daggers. And uh, it was really expensive, but I didn't see before paratrooper, um, like pilot and uh, pilot in aluminum in that great condition. So it's really, uh, really cool. So uh, two more uh, daggers we can see here two really interesting dagger because uh, this one is like uh, grandfather's uh, navy officer's dagger we can see here model 1938 uh, um, eagle we can see here uh, original ivory grip and uh, first world war period uh, before 1918 uh, dagger and uh, this dagger um, worn this dagger used um, to worn during Kaiserlich uh, marine period and um, during third Reich period um, navy officer who was probably son or grandson of uh, imperial officer he also converted it and um, it was really something special because uh, you have to be like a great surf you know <laughs> how to call it in english uh, when, when you don't have uh, fines and when you sur surf serving um, great and uh, only if you doing great in serving in navy uh, you can use uh, your grandfather's um, dirk your grandfather's dagger so uh, this one is amazing piece uh, original one with um, with damascus blade uh wkc marked and um, 
in really good condition and you can see like chocolate patina uh, here on um, the brass and uh, here where, where it is a little bit deeper uh, we can see traces of uh, gilding here on the dagger so uh, we can see it from from a distance that it's original in original condition and um, it like get it it, it got old <laughs> yeah correct to say um, like together uh, with all these parts so or grown up you know what i mean so it, it's in original in original condition and same color all uh, details and um, here we can see small like denser dagger and uh, here on the recast so we can see um, the crest and here monogram crest and monogram uh, could give us uh, a lot of information but i have to research it because uh, if we find um, which crest is it uh, we can find uh, exactly who own this dagger because uh, we can see here monogram so it's very interesting and i just um, in the beginning of my on my research uh, with this one but i excited to to do it and i will ask some collectors who can uh, help me uh, with researching uh, this crest so because of it's really interesting and i will share this information with you uh, guys this one is um, really interesting example of uh, uh, like art arts and um, this is gilded and blued and um, nickel plated etched uh, bayonet uh, this one is early model of um, swedish bayonet uh, and uh, this one has been factory um, factory how to say it factory etched and um, like added gilding and, and stuff like that sorry i forgot this uh, this word but anyway you can see it here so uh, this is not just a private uh, purchase from a no-name shop this is a factory made and uh, uh, we can check it in a book and this is a really rare piece i saw how it has been sold a uh, few years ago for approximately 3000 euro uh, in a castle oh that button yeah it's a it's an early button like this uh, like flat and um, now I found exactly this one in uh, in a market so and I just um, bought it probably for um, another collector and uh, this one is in near mint condition with old gilding with old blood um, and it's really nice uh, here we can see diplomatic dagger diplomatic dagger original one the, which is also uh, very rare and um, i will also show it to you and um, actually it have uh, original nut uh, here small one and um, this one is also really interesting piece and i will show it to you closer i will uh, send some items from this display to europe to back to europe but um, some of them like this rare stuff i will uh, keep it here and i will show it to you closer next uh, time for example these items will be in unpacking video um, next week so if you have question you can uh, ask me something and i will uh, go further uh, this one is a pole top pole top for nsdap um, for nsdap standard and uh, this one is really rare piece in that condition it's uh, really hard to find look at that it's like uh, frozen um, silver in and uh, in amazing condition uh, we can see all lacquer is here and uh, it's a factory made color uh, so it's really really good and uh, it also have have stamp here yeah also we can see here the stamp maker mark so it's very interesting original piece and uh, yes frosting the frosting yeah yeah thank you thank you yeah this frosting is uh, amazing 
Exactly, and uh, it's all preserved by lacquer. And um, here on the table, this uh, this deal I didn't wrap uh, yet because uh, some of uh, these essay daggers uh, I will buy. Some of uh, these essay daggers I didn't buy yet, but I am working on it. And um, for example, here we can see a really stone mint condition I already shown you this one um Klitterman dagger uh, 729 and uh, uh, we can see here the year of produced um 1939 and this one in stone mint um, with a hanger with original uh, paint and um, i already sold it because i have uh, i had um request for stone mint and skk dagger and so i finally found it and i really proud myself i did it because it's it's getting uh, really hard to find items in that condition because um a lot of collectors uh, hunting on these daggers but most of these collectors don't uh, show it and don't share this information with us the collector and uh, um, i do that and i also proud about it um, here we can see some more uh, essay daggers but i already shown it to you i just uh, put it here to show it to you one more time and don't uh, i will not go like further with this stuff because i already shown it to you previous live stream um, this one i didn't show um really close this one i bought finally um, this is um, a railway uh, protection dagger and uh, with um, like a fake throat on the um, uh, artificial throat uh, on the uh, scabbard and uh, this one is full al aluminum scabbard carl icon and um, really nice dagger in really nice condition with uh, all um, silvering and really good patina so this one and i really like this display it's like when i um, uh, made display with when i'm making display uh, with sa daggers i just try to put it like that like circle because it's like it looks great and um here oh by the way here we can see two um m42 uh, helmets and this one is a regular army helmet uh m32 but uh, this one is et uh 64 and um, original early uh, et uh, 64 m42 helmet uh this one has been produced in the last uh, months of uh, 1942, uh, first months uh, 1930, um, 1943, um, and um, it has original um, original eagle here, and this one is really in near mint condition, and also we can see here the stamp stamp inside um, inside the helmet. Also we can see. Um, 56 56 is in centimeters uh, size of the uh, head and uh, this one is really really good condition i i'd like to buy all helmets uh, m42 uh, et because um, several times i found uh, exactly the same ma maker mark and exactly the same trim uh, if we can see uh, if we can tell um, <laughs> about helmets in this world you know if if, if we can call it uh, trim and um, i'd like et40 um, model 42 you know um, no. here this is a rare one and with uh, decal and um, late period they also did this they manufactured these helmets but um, it was without deca decals and um, then collectors or dealers or somebody uh, just uh, add um, original decals on these uh, helmets and um, they just try to make it more expensive but uh, this is dangerous things um, that's why I, I would like to buy 
um, ET or Q um, in that period. Um, you know what I mean, like <laughs> correct one. Uh, the same one you can uh, find on the ground, you know. Uh, so for this period of production, that's correct and I like it. Uh, this one is SS, SS helmet and it's also in great condition. It's also in great condition. I used to want to keep it for uh, my private collection, but probably I will sell it. Uh, but anyway, I really like this uh, helmet with uh, this decal because it's really shiny, it's really bright, and uh, uh, which is rare uh, because most of them it's like under fog, you know, and um, most of SS uh, decals not. Uh, that bright uh, so this was uh, this one was uh, really expensive and uh, anyway i bought it because uh, i used to search for a uh, helmet in uh, that trim a um, few years and uh, this is the first one i've seen uh, on the market with uh, that condition of decal and uh, helmet and inside also we can see all correct um, details for this period and also we can see here the correct uh, leather it's like uh, like a pig leather um, which is thick and this one is really classic uh, the same uh, same trim we can find uh, underground um, in Novgorod area for example so this one also interesting. My pictures are better than uh, my English, so <laughs> I will I will publish all these um, these items in uh, my Instagram, so you can uh, see it, and also in Telegram if you uh, have this stuff. So uh, all these items I will. What is the current value of SS helmet? Um, value of this SS helmet is from... I don't know. And exactly, I don't want to sell it cheap because I used to uh, search for uh, this item a lot of... a uh, few years. few years and um, I really don't know for for what amount I will... Uh, sell it, but it should be more than ten thousand for this one, uh, because you can find if uh, if you're lucky, uh, you can find it for example for seven or eight thousand uh, USD. But uh, it's almost impossible now, uh, because for seven thousand you can see like M forty two with SS helm uh, with SS decal, uh, but it should be. Uh, mixed parts or without liner or stuff like that. They price has grown up uh, last few last few years and uh, it didn't stop. It's uh, getting more and more. So um, if I sell it for for example for eight or nine thousand, I can't find it in that condition and uh, that um, bright um, decal. Uh, so. That's why it would it should be <laughs> more, uh, but anyway, if I don't um, sell it, I just will keep it for uh, my collection because I'm happy with it. And um, this one is um, is a sword, uh, Kaiserlich Marine sword, and uh, it's also Damascus blade WKC. For example, um, we can see here it's a huge one, and uh, I almost <laughs> forget to mention it. If you like me. I sell pieces to buy. Oh yeah, sometimes I sell um, items uh, to buy more other items, you know, and uh, for get more travel and stuff like that for for keep um, this show going. Yeah, is it correct? Um, let me see. That says helmet is impressive. It says helmet is impressive. I had opportunity to buy. Uh, one several years ago, but couldn't afford it. Um, I wish I had. But I wish you uh, buy your 
helmet of your dream, you know, because it's uh, very important and uh, it's very interesting. Uh, so, we almost done with our um, items. Oh, by the way, uh, this one is very interesting. This one is original box, um, like broad back box uh, with a bayonet in it. And uh, we can see here addresses uh, from and to. Um, and uh, this is a parcel has been sent from Europe uh, to the United States to Wisconsin uh, with um, uh, war souvenir. So it's really interesting box. And uh, sometimes in this box, uh, people still uh, find items uh, and then sell it or uh, keep in their own uh, displays. So I hope you enjoy uh, this display. I hope you enjoy this stuff because uh, uh, tomorrow I have to send some of these items um, to the Europe, to Europe. And uh, I just want to make sure you like it. <laughs> and um, okay, it's probably, oh, more than 30 minutes I uh, did my uh, live stream sorry for my english today because i'm really tired uh, but in few hours it should be part of this item should be sent so that's why i did this live stream now very impressive collection thanks for sharing thank you for watching and commenting uh, and your comments um, you certainly found some interesting things on european trip great job on finding these uh, pieces. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, I appreciate your appreciation. Um, and I will show you more items um, during last, uh, during next few weeks. Um, I will publish a few videos and I already um, start to edit it. So, um, and uh, next week will be a Wilmington show. So if you will be there, we can meet. So. I will make you like this, take five, and um, so we can um, go to the bed, because it's pretty late tonight. Uh, thank you for watching this video until the end. Thank you for watching this video um, in a record, and thank you guys who uh, saw it uh, like in live stream. Have a great rest of your evening. Thank you and goodbye, and we will finish.